you're nervous or if you're having any problems, this place will help you get your foot through the door. They'll walk you through it, they'll be more enthusiastic than you are, and they'll make it simple for you because they're there. And uh, I think that's what was for me is I felt support from people that had been through and been the same, in the same place I was. Plus there's people my age. For me personally, it's just the, uh, I, I get a good energy from the career center. Everybody is just uh, really positive here. You know, there's no, uh, no judging or, you know, there's none of that. It's just a really welcoming, good vibe here. Coming back was the biggest challenge and I'm not knowing if I was smart enough to do it. And the biggest challenge though, I think that I faced was not knowing what I wanted to do. I was scared to death. I just didn't think I'd be able to do it. Didn't think my mind would work. Didn't think I had the, um, the ability to write. I think it was really computer liter illiterate, but all these things I've learned and a lot of it was because of the center's enthusiasm and the people just be willing to help me with anything I needed. It was an awesome experience. I'm just tired of you know, working the type of jobs that I've had in the past and I need to really get uh, at, at the very least a certification but uh, I think more importantly the degree and you know establish a career. I think that when I first came here I was kind of a little mouse you know and now I'm comfortable talking to everybody and, and you know I feel more like I fit in at school. I feel like I belong here. When I first came to school, I didn't feel like, you know, I belonged. I didn't feel like I, I should be here. I was too old or I was, you know, didn't know what I was doing. And now I actually feel like I'm here and I should be. <laughs> the reentry program was like um, my rock. It was a place where I could always go and. I went every day usually. Uh, last semester I was here almost every day when I was here and it was just a safe place for me where other students are coming in that are older. It's not a bunch of just young kids, it's you know also older students as well. There was a lot of support, you know, writing the scholarships. I got a lot of support. I couldn't get that at other places, you know. Um, I really needed to be here where I could see that I'm not the only one or the oldest one that's in school, so that helped. <laughs> I've got a 3.67 right now. That's my biggest success because I know that I can do it now. I wasn't sure before. You know, after being out of school for a long time, you think that you lose a lot of your intelligence, and so I wasn't really sure. Um, winning the scholarship award was another success of mine. But mostly, I want to keep my GPA up to show my daughter that I can do it and to show her that she can do it too. I want to thank the Frank Foundation for their extreme generosity so that students like myself can obtain their edu educational goals. I couldn't have done this without the help of the Career Center, too. Thank you. There's, there's never a time in your life that it's appropriate to stop learning or stop trying to, to better yourself or to educate yourself. So just do it. Go for it, first of all, because we can do it if you just try. And as long as you try your best, they'll do your best. And there's no, you know, you don't have to be perfect in everything. You don't have to get all A's or, you know, whatever the thing is we have about college and school. It's well, just the best thing is just trying it. And you'll find that it really works, that we can do it. And I find that now that I know what I want to be and do, school is a blast. Well, as long as it, um, people listen to what you guys are saying and telling them to do, you can be successful. You know, and you have to have the willpower to keep going and you want it, you have to want to go, but the Career Center helped me a lot.